There is some major downsides of not understanding how a automated trading bot or automated trading system works. If you don't have the full knowledge and the full risk of a portfolio of trading systems you are trading, it can end very badly for you. It's very easy to lose money with automated trading, unfortunately, and it's hard to make money. You have to put a lot of work in to do it. It is possible, of course, but today I wanted to talk about an event that happened last year in July and how a lot of customers for a certain trading system subscription lost a lot of their funds, if not all. It was actually very sad, and a lot of people did complain online talking about losing all their money, which some were five figures, some were six figures. A lot of money was lost, and I wanna talk about the dangers of not understanding how a trading system works and why it's really important to build good trading systems, which is what I preach on my channel. If you build your own systems from scratch, using good practices and proper robustness testing as well as portfolio management and understanding of the risks involved, you will be successful. But if you don't do any of those steps or all of those steps, I should say, this could happen. So here is a website, MyFXbook. I'm sure some of you heard it, but you can track results on accounts. And we see this person, I'm not gonna name names, you know, subscribe to this trading system and they had a, a pretty good run. They were up 5%, 9%, pretty smooth equity curve. We had some drawdowns here. Drawdowns are normal. And then around July 24th, 25th, 2024, we see them going up 17% to down 99%, essentially losing all of their funds, all right? Having a massive drawdown in one day and you would never want to trade a trading system or, or a portfolio where you would lose all of your money in one day or in one trade, I should say, right? It's just a waste of time, a waste of energy to put all that effort in to, okay, eventually get up to 17%, which is, is very good for basically two quarters. That's incredible. And then to lose it all, why would you do it? Why would you do that? Why would you trade a trading system that does that? Here's another account that was actually trading that system longer, much, much longer and was up 480% and boom, the drop at July 24th again. Apparently they're still up 280%, but they lost over 200% from that trading system. And it's funny, they stopped tracking it after that date. I wonder why. So we're not gonna go into what is this trading system? Who are these people? We don't need to do that. What we need to understand is how could a trading system lose all your money? Because my goal is to you know, show you guys that this will never happen if you test properly, okay? Losing all your capital should never happen if you know the proper risk management, you know the potential drawdowns in the future and how to size your portfolio correctly, okay? So how can this happen, you, you losing all your funds from say a portfolio or an automated trading system? So the first reason could be you're not aware of the capital required to trade that portfolio. If your capital required to say is $100,000 and you're trading with $10,000, then yes, you have probably a high risk of ruin of totally blowing up, basically losing all your money in that account and not being able to trade in the future. That is definitely a reason, all right? So be aware of the capital required to trade a portfolio. And if you wanna know how to do that, see the links in the description below. I have a portfolio calculator where you can mix and match trading systems to your own portfolio and it will calculate the portfolio requirements for you. There is multiple ways to uh, sort of calculate the required portfolio capital, right? You could, it depends on your risk tolerance, to be honest, but you know, knowing the full margin to trade your, your portfolio for trading futures, um, you could also look at you know, using a multiples of a max drawdown, uh, which is viable as well, um, and then combining the two too, taking margin and max drawdown, combining them as well. So that could be one reason why, you know, your trading system loses all your money. You're not aware of the capital required to trade it and you're just trading way less than you should be. Subsequently, if you're trading too much, right? If you're trading more than what's required, then yeah, your returns will be diminished. You'll be, you'll be, it'll be a safer, a safer bet trading that portfolio, but you'll have diminished returns. Number two is technical error, right? With automated trading systems, there's always a risk of technical error. In fact, I think anyone any quantitative trader has some technical error in at some part of their career, right? It is inevitable to have technical error. It will happen. And 
you need to be aware of it. Try, you, you need to write the best code possible, but there will be errors. And as long as you fix them in a timely manner, you should be okay. I have technical errors. Sometimes technical errors make you money. Uh, usually it balances out to, to be honest, but technical error can cause you to lose all your money. For example, say you wrote some code and it was in a never ending loop, right? And that loop, in, inside that loop somewhere, there was a buy or sell signal. And if that signal runs indefinitely, then what's gonna happen? You're gonna buy indefinitely or sell indefinitely until you're out of capital, causing you to lose all your money. Has this ever happened to me? No, but I've had technical errors where a trade wasn't supposed to happen or a trade uh, was supposed to happen and I didn't enter the trade and lost money on it, but that could be an, uh, a reason why. Number three, uh, you took too much risk. This could be going to number one. Maybe you were aware of the capital required and you took more risk than you, 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 were, you were aware of the, the, the capital required. You took more risk than you should have and you were wrong. You, you made the wrong bet. So maybe you leveraged too much and you wanted to get those juicy returns. But unfortunately, due to luck, maybe bad timing with the market regimes, you took more risk, your bet was wrong and you, you lost more, right? So I find that when you see the, when you compute the risk and you know how much capital is required and you, you see the max drawdown of that historical portfolio, you think to yourself, yeah, I could handle a, say a 25% drawdown in the portfolio, right? Say hypothetically your portfolio uh, required capital was 100,000 and it had a 25% max drawdown. And you say to yourself, yeah, I could handle that max drawdown of, of 25%. But it's easy to say when you see it, you know, in a Python module or an Excel sheet, but actually going through that drawdown live, I find that you usually it's a little bit less, right? You can't actually survive that live and psychologically it hits you harder. So sometimes I recommend, you know, the, the drawdown that you're, or the goal that you're setting, you know, add some, some buffer to that because it's, it's gonna hit harder live than what you think it's gonna be. Maybe instead of 25%, you could actually only handle a 15% or 20% live. Really question yourself on that, on what you could handle live. Because when it happens live, and it will happen, you will hit a max drawdown, it's always in the future, and usually you'll surpass it by you know, quite a bit as well. You know, ask yourself if you can actually handle that. So maybe you know, you're trading a portfolio and has 25% max drawdown, and you say, oh, I can handle that. Actually, I could handle maybe 30, 35% live, or 40%. So you take more risk than you're willing to do, and you know you lose more because maybe the market regime changed there could be a whole slew of factors but you took more risk more risk than you were willing to do and you were wrong in the bet so what actually happened in this scenario in these trading bots these you know subscribers that subscribe to this trading system what actually happened with this right and i did some research and it wasn't any of these well i guess it was number three i think it was took too much risk but from my research, they were using a Martingale approach on these trading systems, which I do not recommend. I recommend trading systems using static sizing. Um, all my trading systems trade the same sizing in terms of contracts traded. Uh, that's worked the best for me. I've tried dynamic sizing where, you know, one strategy was weighted more, had more sizing, or I would increase the size based on losing days, exactly like a Martingale system and I always had worse performance. Now I put a cap on my Martingale system, but apparently these subscribers did not. So how does Martingale work? Basically you have a trading system where you're making bets because Martingale could be applied to, to anything, any, any, any environment where you can make a bet and you start increasing the size of the bet on losing trades. So here we see, uh, this isn't a, a Forex example, but you buy 0 0.1 lots here Right, so you're going long, you're betting that this instrument's gonna go up. It keeps going down, you buy 0.2 lots. Essentially, you're doubling your size, doubling your size, doubling your size, doubling size. It gets all the way to 0.16, and then you close all your positions in a profit, okay? And with most Martingale systems, they have really high win rates. They look like this, very smooth equity curves up and to the right. But there's always a time and place where, what if it goes to 0 0.32, 0 0.64? Right? Can you handle that size in your account? And unfortunately, this, this algo trader could not. Maybe they weren't aware of the Martingale system. Maybe they didn't understand the risk with the, 
the trading bot, maybe they were lied to. I'm not sure what actually happened, but that's how Martingale works. All right. And I don't know anyone that has been successful with Martingale. I, maybe they've been successful for a short amount of time, maybe a month or a quarter, but it never works. The best way to trade automated trading systems is with a diversified portfolio. And personally, from my experience, right, trading a static contract size. Okay. So you know the capital required to trade that portfolio. And you're trading five systems, they're all trading one contract, hypothetically, that's what you keep it as. And if you make enough profit to trade two contracts, then you up the size. If you want up the size and you don't have enough capital, well then you need to get the capital elsewhere. Martingale never works, okay? And unfortunately, it's very sad, but this trading system had Martingale applied to it. And during July 25th, 2024, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but there was some news that Japan was um, increasing their interest rates, which they haven't done in a very, very long time. That made the Japanese yen more valuable. And we see, this is the Japanese yen currency futures. Uh, we see Japanese yen rising. I mean, it peaked up about 16%, but within this couple of days around the end of July, it rose, I mean, even that one day, 2.6%, which is massive for a move on Japanese yen in a single day. If we zoom out on the long-term chart of Japanese yen, it's been a declining currency, declining currency for a very long time. Since 2012, it's been in a, a bearish trend. And I assume what happening was this, this trading system was probably short Japanese yen, one of the currencies, maybe Japanese yen, US dollar probably. And it started experiencing losing trades around July 25th and was, you know, we'd flip this chart around, but it probably kept trying to go short, trying to go short, trying to go short, adding size, adding size, adding size on losing trades. And Japanese yen kept going up, kept going up until unfortunately you had no more capital to trade that next martingale. Uh, addition on the contract, causing this account to go to zero, all right? So the lesson learned today is that you need to understand the risk of your trading systems and your portfolios. You need to know how much capital is required to trade it, okay? You need to know what the max drawdown is, how much margin is used, and a combination of the two, and then you trade that trading system. Maybe if this user did this with this, with this bot, they could, even with the Martingale system, maybe they could say, all right, well, to actually trade the system, I need, you know, 10 times more capital because a Martingale could get so big, right? And it's infinite, right? It probably, I, I think, I mean, hypothetically with Martingale, you'll never have enough capital unless you had unlimited money, which nobody has. So personally, Martingale just never works. I don't recommend it. Trade static contracts with your portfolio. Be diversified. I don't know if this trading system was diversified. Maybe it was trading other pairs and just the Japanese yen pair with US dollar was probably just such at a massive loss that maybe the other pairs weren't hedging it properly. I'm not sure. But that's, that's a lesson. Un understand the risks of a portfolio and, and understand the capital requirements. You can be successful with quantitative trading and make uncorrelated returns for yourself. But if you don't understand how much risk and how much capital is required, then you will blow up like this person. Okay. If you don't understand how Martingale works and the technical side as well, you will blow up like this person. And it's very sad. Okay. My heart goes out to this person. You know, I don't like people losing money. It's very sad, but you play games where you don't understand how much capital is required or how Martingale works. And you will see, unfortunately, the consequences and also confidence with your portfolio. That's what you really need to, to keep going. You need that confidence in the portfolio or else you usually give up too soon. I hope you learned something from this video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried Martingale uh, before and if it's worked out for you, or if you don't think you know the capital requirements for your portfolio, you should know and you should test it. You should test everything with as much due diligence as possible. That's the video, guys. Happy Saturday. Bye-bye.